Good evening, everybody. The video today is about um, quitting smoking and drinking. Okay, so by the same thing, the same approach you pick up in this video is you can apply it in your other habits, other addictions that you might have, or you will have, or you do have already. So you can use the same approach. It will work. Okay, it will work for any kind of so. But today I'm just focusing on quitting smoking and drinking. Okay, because I've been having a lot of questions regarding these two. So I thought, let me just do a video to address everybody. Okay, at the same time. Right, so now one thing you, you, I need you all to understand that is all addictions are demons that are in your body, in your system. So that means it's things that you ate or drank or put in your system, but they are in your tissues already. Okay, I must say this all so you can understand what I'm really saying. So it is demons that are already in your tissues, in your blood veins, in your, you know, you've injected them into your system. Okay. They are within your tissues. That's why it's hard to get rid of them because they are everywhere in your brain, everywhere that they, they can get the, the circulation of your body is reaching. They are there. Okay. Because you injected them in your body and then you know remember now whatever you eat in your mouth it gets absorbed when it gets into your stomach it gets absorbed and then it runs into your whole body all right so now we want to get rid of these things now we we, we want to know how we can rid of them but then we gotta know who what are we trying to get rid of first all right so this video is really unpacking what these things we're trying to get rid of and how therefore we can address getting rid of them okay now you will re remember that alcohol is called spirits all right all alcohol you know the beverages people be drinking socially and they are called spirits, and that's not a mistake, okay? That's not a mistake, spirits, because that's what you are drinking into your system when you're drinking this alcohol. And then you get addicted, get being an alcoholic, and then it's hard to get rid of these demons, okay? They're actually called spirits, okay? So it's hard to get rid of them because they you've drunk them. It's unlike when you walk past or, you know, some, some demon walk into you, and then a few days it will come off or somebody will rebuke it. No, these ones that in your system, they, they stay there, they live there, and it's hard to get rid of them, okay? So you drink alcohol, you drink spirits, all right? You gotta get that straight, all right? So this video is actually showing you how to get rid of these. Now, we're at, at this point in time now, which I'm just trying to show you what these are that you are drinking or smoking or injecting, okay? I'll unpack them one by one, right? Okay. So the next one is the tobacco. Tobacco is one of the demons that you, you know, I'll show you what they, the, the, the names of the demons behind these things or these substances are, okay? So the next sub things is, is tobacco. So you want to get in the next one is drugs. These are just examples of things we get, we, 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 we um, invite into our system or we get, we eat into our system that they circulate and so hard to get rid of, okay? Because there's demons behind them and they're embedded in our bodies, right? So drugs, so hard to get rid of this. And then there's some teas that some churches, I know ZCC or something, they, there's, there's some tea that are just given in some churches, okay? Or tea or so, some little, something that's dedicated to whatever is the, the spirit that's ruling that church. So when you drink these things of theirs, you're drinking the spirits that are de dedicated as part of that church, okay? Then you become so devoted to whatever this church is saying or whatever it believes that this church is having. Okay, so that's the tease, and those demons are in you. They blind you from seeing anything else, all right? That's the same thing, the, 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 the Holy Communion. That's how they get people get blinded from seeing that, oh, man, there's no way this Jesus, this white man can be our Savior. But people are blinded. They cannot see that because they keep eating this, um, this wafer. They call it Holy Communion, which is totally pagan. I've got a video out there that's showing how pagan this um, thing, they call it Holy Communion. And they say in Cindy, she said in John, I'm showing you that they are, they're, they're, um, they're changing that scripture or contorting that scripture so that it can sound as if Cindy was saying it must be done as a ritual and they must use that way for whatever they... So in Christianity, that's why people are still stuck today believing in the um, white Jesus with long hair thinking that's their savior because they are blinded and they are committed, very committed to this well, white man because of what they keep eating all the time. As this Pope is even saying, we, we become him. We become, so you are eating him. 
Okay. Some people even say you've eaten in sin this way. Not in sin this way. You've eaten Jesus, Jesus, whenever you're, if you believe in him. So, excuse me. That's what it is. So, I mean, there's no, you know, black people who know that in sin this is, they say, they still walk around believing that white men, <laughs> they say that white women with blonde hair, Jesus, that Greek, uh, please, man. And look, here, I'm, you know, I mean, some, some, um, some of our brothers and sisters will knock you over if you talk about Jesus. They believe and trust and have faith in Jesus. And then that Holy Communion every month or whatever frequency they give it, you got to eat, keep eating, eating, eating. It's getting into your body system and taking over control of your brain, your cognizance, your, your, your common sense. Okay. Now, eventually, when you stop that Holy Communion, after a while, you start questioning things, and you're sitting at home, and it's like, man, how, is this real? And then, then you start. But for as long as you keep that ritual going, you'll keep being blinded, okay? I'm just telling you the honest truth now, because that's how they keep you in. That's the same thing as with um, the other religions. They, they, they have to have you eat something or drink something as part of, so that your body system it accommodates those spirits that make you be committed and hundred percent into whatever the belief they're pushing you. Okay, so now, our so your human body will have all those um, demons circulating in them. Okay, teeth, eye, everywhere. Okay, so no matter what the 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 demon you were drinking, like probably through the Holy Communion, through the drugs, through the tobacco. I'll tell you what the demons are. I'm just showing you what the entities, what the vessels, the channels, excuse me, because you are the vessels, what the channels are coming, getting into you, okay? So those are the main channels, okay? I won't say, I mean, the regular food you eat at Walmart, because the, the stuff that we eat every day, yes, it got some demons sometimes, some most of them actually not some, most of them stuff that we eat on a daily basis that regular food they got demons in them even the drinks they got because then they're, they're dedicated whoever is the producer of those those products they they dedicate stuff so what we do our spiritual selves mostly get rid of especially we if we believe we have heightened spirit we pray they get rid of those things as soon as we're done eating we you pray before you eat you give thanks and then that clears a whole lot of things before you even eat but if you're one of those people who don't even pray before you eat then you're in trouble because you eat a whole lot of those demons because they will still be there they don't flee and then maybe somewhere down the line, then the one by one, they start falling off because you're, you know, your spiritual person is, you know, whatever. But what I'm saying is every day we're dealing with spirits, okay, that we eat. And and now the advantage is every se seventh day cycle, seventh day cycle, we, we replenish, our bodies replenish. So those spirits that we ate that are not in our systems, our bodies have, have got to... Um, I don't want to say a replenish, there's, there's a wave of replenishment that happens every seventh day, a wave of replenishment, but it's not 100% taking, getting rid of the stuff that's in your body system, it's taking care of the top layer of the demons that are just wishy-washy on, on the surface, but the stuff that's in your body system, they stay there, okay, because you ate it, it feels like it, it's got authority and power to get into you, right, and to live there, okay. So where are we now? Um, so now, so those are the examples that I'm showing you over there. Okay. So, and then you walk around feeling you've been tricked. So these things, they stay. In, now, here's a question. What actually gets into your body? So that's what you want to find out right now. What are you going to know? Because yes, we've got examples of the things that you eat. And, but now there's demons, the spiritual things that you don't see. Those are the ones you are dealing with after eating whatever or smoking or drinking whatever. Now, what I, what is it that you're dealing behind the scenes? Now, you're dealing with behind. What actually gets into your body? All right? That's the question. Now, and then now this, this the follow-up question to that. Now, we come to the answer. Follow -up is why is it so hard to get rid of these substances? Now, we go through meditation, rehabilitation focus, group, community interventions. And it's really so hard to get rid of these substances because of what are these things that get into your body. Now, alcohol, let's start with alcohol, the most prominent one. Alcohol is alcohol, a body-eating demon. Even the name alcohol, it means body-eating. In some language, they say Hebrew or whatever. They, they, they love, but the, the name means alcohol, means eating body-eating demon. 
So whenever you drink alcohol, it corrodes your physical body inside out. Okay, it corrodes it. So, so the doctors will tell you your liver, your these, your brain cells. They'll tell you each and every part of your body that's getting corroded as time goes on. And so as long as you keep drinking that alcohol, that demon is the one. It's not the chemical. Anything that is in the alcohol is the demon behind it. It's called alcohol. Okay, because you can drink grapes without the alcohol. You can drink grapes, but I mean grape juice, but if you put that alcohol in there, that's where the problem comes. And then they talk about, no, it cleans your veins. Yes, grape juice cleans your veins. Yes, your blood veins. But the alcohol in there, it does not. All right? So if you think you're drinking wine because you're doing yourself a favor, you're trying to be healthy, cleaning veins, no. The alcohol in there is the, is the problem. Right? You need to understand this part very clear. Okay. Alcohol is alcohol. Okay, no, I made a mistake that lot. It's alcohol, right? Now you know what we're talking about here. Now, some scoffers will go about talking about, no, I'm saying this, see, change water to wine. That's the verse they always use, people who are trying to justify the drink of alcohol. That verse, John 2, verse 111, Msin DC did not put alcohol in that wine. Whatever he was changing, it was grape juice or fermented. Because now remember, there is there's uh, drinks that make you mellow. Without having alcohol in there, the fact that you, you, you ferment something, like they call it gombo tea in the southern part of Africa. So you take, you mix, you brew stuff, and then you ferment it. That fermentation is the one that makes you feel mellow, but it's not alcohol. It don't got spirits in there, okay? So whatever I'm seeing this he did is either he, he made a, a, a really fermented why grape? Because now they would have to go through a long process, put that grape juice in those vessels, and then put them in there, and then leave them for weeks and whatever to age, and then they start drinking it when it's fermented, and then it makes them feel mellow and whatever. No, so I'm seeing this. He just did that over and over a minute. So that's what he did. He did not pull alcohol. So people who try to justify that um, drinking alcohol using that verse, no. That's not what I'm saying he did, okay? Because he did not put alcohol in there. It was just grape juice or f fermented grape juice, aged grape juice that, but that he did. That's all he did, okay? So let's, let's carry on. So you all understand that, you know, even the, um, even commercial, they're not even hiding this thing. It's showing that these are spirits. Okay, spirit, you can see the gum bread, and they even make them look cute, like it's some so spirit drinks, spirit drinks. Some will say, no, we are better spirits than them. They're all just a bunch of spirits. No matter they're free spirit or clean spirit like this, they will. They are just spirit. Some are just hardcore, like mm, evil spirit. Then they're not even hiding themselves, because this is a new drink. It's probably so expensive. Only the, elite, the you know, the rich elite will think about, oh, we're buying this. But it is spirits. That's what it counts. No matter what, how expensive it can be and you think you are high roller or high baller, if you have this kind of spirit, it don't work because that's just evil spirits, okay? And they can make it look cute like you're having fun in the parties, you know. Alcohol, they're just promoting alcohol. The alcohol, the, the, um, the, the, the flesh-eating demon, okay? So you have to always understand it. Same thing as with uh, tobacco. Tabak, tabak is a um, tabak is a um, is a demon. It also corrodes the inner body. It's a body eating demon as well. So that's why tabak. You'll see tabak likes working in partnership with um, tobacco likes working in partnership with other demons so that they can open way for him and then they can come or he can open way for them the person will say no i smoke and drink i smoke when i drink and stuff so they work in partnership so tabak is the tobacco tobacco is named after tabak okay so tabak is the the one that we find in smokes okay all kind of smoke no matter with expensive cigar tube and this tobacco now, I'm not talking about nicotine, I'm talking about tobacco, okay? So, even if, I mean, no, nicotine is a drug, it's just a drug, I'll just say. It. Nicotine is a drug that takes place of the cigarette, okay? Because the cigarette has got an extra, an extra called um, nicotine, okay? That's a cigarette. But the nicotine won't probably be in, in the other tobaccos, but tobacco is in all everything that you smoke, inhale in, 
Okay, I hope you understand the difference. So Tabak is that demon that is killing your flesh from inside out. So he works usually he likes working together with um with, with with alcohol, okay? So the alcohol will open way and then tabak come in or one or the other, okay? And then other demons start work getting in, the demon of violence, the, you know, whatever the person now what we see is when a person has smoking or drank or one of the two maybe drunk is drunk, then they start being violent. Some people, you change your form, in other words. So the way, that, depending on what demons are, partners, are partnering with, whatever the tabak is, so whatever demons partner with that tabak, then they will come in because now they are friends, in other words. They're friends with tabak or they're friends with um, with alcohol. They'll come in and then the person will be violent or promiscuous or whatever, okay? But they'll change their normal way right then then that's when you know then what kind of demon is there okay so most of the time people will say no i smoke when i drink like i just i just said so that means tabac works is closely working hand in hand with um alcohol at that time okay so when that means when you when you are drinking then that's when you you feel like smoking so that means tabac has already come in the minute you pick up a glass tabac is coming in right inside you all right or is activated inside is heightened is, is elevated because now you've you've taken him his partner his body and then his body wakes him up and then he's gonna rise up and then you feel like smoking when you're drinking okay i hope you, you all understand what's going on in here all right so all these tab all these evil spirits all these whatever you were eating at church you were, they all come and live in your body like i just said so now you have a problem trying to get rid of all of these things, right? Because now that's where the question is. Now, how do we get rid of these unwanted spirits? I call them unwanted because some of them claim that they are clean spirits, make you happy. They're not bad. They don't make you violent. When you drink, you become socialistic and stuff. You've got a better sense of humor because some evil spirit, some spirit, not evil, some spirits are just humor. They got humor. So when you drink all of this, they they come in and you got you have better personality. So they so I call them unwanted spirits because you don't want spirits to just come in and be helping your personality. Okay, so you want to be yourself. You don't want none of this stuff to be coming and helping you out. Because now whoever what what other spirits are they going to invite? Because they're all spirits from the darkness, kingdom of darkness. So they can invite whoever else they feel like. Okay, you come in, and then that one will be an evil spirit. And then you do something wrong and then you start the following day you blame alcohol no so you just don't want none of these spirits okay right now how do you question how do you get rid of these unwanted spirits okay i've got a few steps here I'll, I'll prefer. so this unwanted spirit the first thing you gotta do because now we're dealing with spirit right so you already know that my interventions my my, my solution will be spiritual okay spiritual so you have to heighten your spirit self that one is the first you must hide in your spirit self so how do you hide in your spirit self what what does what what is to hide in your spirit to hide in your spirit self is to elevate your spirit man over your flesh okay so that means you make sure you you give power you elevate your spirit self over your flesh okay how wh wh why do you have to do that Okay, because now there's a whole lot of questions people will be thinking whilst they are watching this video. So I'm preempting your questions. So why hiding your spirit self? One is, now remember Sonini, the one now who's going to you know, help you out of this whole thing. Sonini, you, you want to have direct contact with spirit world where your deliverance comes from. Okay, so Sonini is spirit and they that worship him, worship him in spirit and truth. John 4.24 tells you clear so then it is spirit so you have to do any everything in spirit so you have to elevate your spirit self so you can be in tune with the spirit you can understand what is being said what you must do what is happening you have to elevate your spirit self okay because for as long as you are in the flesh self where these demons are destroying you and you're trying to get rid of them you cannot fight spirit with flesh okay so all those sitting in groups and i know rehab people think rehab works but some people excuse me take very long extremely long in that rehab until they i, I don't know what they do in their rehab they probably tap into the spiritual because you have to get into the spiritual to, to fight spirit okay 
So, but you, you don't want to go into long rehab, long. You want something that's going to just get rid of the spirits and then you're normal. Because that's the only thing that makes you keep doing this smoking. If you want to get rid of smoking, when you want to get rid of drinking, it's the spirit that's behind all of that. So you get rid of the spirit, then you won't even understand why we're even smoking. You don't even understand what all of this is about. So one, why hiding the spirit? You want that direct contact with the spirit. Okay, so you can understand what he says, what's going on. You have that open communication right there. And then the secondly is the spirit is more powerful than the flesh. So manifestations first come in spirit, then the physical form. Okay, so whatever damage has been done, whatever uh, mentality, whatever things that have manifested as a damage in the flesh will be fixed in the spirit first. I don't know if you get me. Now, if you were an alcoholic and your face was, you know, looking bad, they call it who's a face, like a drinking alcoholic face, and you stop drinking, your face start clearing up, you start looking healthier, and so you are healing from inside. It's not because your physical form, no, you are healing from inside out. But if you if you still have that alcohol or whatever, that, that tobacco in your system, you will still look bad because they will carry on corroding your, your body, your physical body, all right? They are spirit, but they live in you corroding your body, corroding your physical now, okay? So spirit is more powerful than flesh. So you want to oppress the flesh, so the spirit, whatever is manifested is given in spirit or whatever healing is being provided in spirit, it can manifest into the physical, all right? So your physical form can benefit. So the spirit is more powerful. You have to hide in that spirit. So oppress the flesh. Your spirit self gets elevated when you oppress the flesh. Okay. So healed spirit will will manifest healed physical flesh. All right. So everything even in creation. So they started creating spirit, man. Spirit, everything was spiritual, nothing physical. Spirit and spiritual. But only the earth that he started creating physical. But the people were all spiritual. And then eventually in Genesis 2. And then start thinking, man, I ain't got nobody to work this physical place because everybody is in, in, is in spiritual, created as men, women, in spirit. Then he started forming. That's Genesis now. I think 2, 6 or 2, 8. He started forming. All right. So that's, that's, um, that's now giving the spiritual into the flesh. So everything starts in the spirit, then manifests later. So you have to hide in that spirit self. So you can really get your benefit, whatever answers it. You grab them as they come okay so how do you do this how do you hide in the spirit self now i might have touched on it a little bit but you have to oppress the flesh through fasting you're oppressing this flesh avoid things the flesh loves okay so fasting is always the the the, the worst now fasting is it is not just fasting with food you have to avoid the things that your flesh craves that all the things that your your flesh wants to have on you have to just, you know, um, avoid them. So you are pressing, you know, the point, is, a lot of people just focus on, I'm fasting, I'm stopping food, I'm stopping. That's not the only thing your flesh loves, okay? So you have to oppress everything that your flesh, food is one of them. Whatever else that your flesh loves doing or loves, you just oppress it, you stop it, you just, you know, you force yourself, okay, into not doing it. Just for a couple of days, you, you are flick, you are Now, when the flesh does not get its way, it becomes powerless and your spirit man takes control. Okay, that's the approach. That's the whole idea. Okay, so you have to oppress that flesh through the fasting and avoiding things that the flesh loves. Okay, because now remember the flesh is the sinful nature. Sinful nature. Okay, that's what the flesh is. So it will always agree with what the demons and people of darkness want. Okay, and now if you resist any one of them, they flee. There's ego in that spirit of darkness. There's pride. There's the, so your flesh is like that as well. So if it doesn't get its way, it shrinks and flee and be powerless. Then that's when your spirit man comes out and be elevated. Okay, you have to understand this one. And then how to hide number two, how to hide, you must talk in spirit, which is called praying. 
you have to talk in spirit, you know, talk, talk, open that communication, open, you know, keep it flowing, keep that communication. In, now, you don't have to be, go and sit and wear some cloth and cover your head. And, no, 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 you talk, like you're talking right now, because now that's why a lot of people just start praying, because they think they first got to do stuff and be running around collecting and saying special words. No, you just talk, okay? All you do is speak. Okay, like you're speaking to somebody in front of you, you just talk like that. You ain't got to go and wear stuff and be, you just talk. Okay, because it's your spirit man talking right now. It's not your physical, your spirit, so you, you're speaking from your heart. That's what other people are saying. You speak in your spirit, from your spirit. Okay, so what your flesh does, wears and be covering your head. and No, you don't. Even if you're in the shower buck naked in the shop if you feel like talking you just carry on talking you don't have to be you know in in some form or shape or way whatever religious clothes all right so keep that communication going keep that communication going your spirit man is going to be elevated and then the prideful flesh will shrink right so now next question is why um now now the the one the step one was you have you gotta hide in your spirit now that we, we just spoke about it through praying and fasting. Now number two you have to call on Sony Nanini with hundred percent faith. Right. So you have to that one you have to still call on Sony Nanini because now he wants you to acknowledge him that you are his you you believe in him, all right? So, because in the spiritual world, there's a whole lot of other things floating around there, and then you just, you have to you, you have to specific who you're seeking help from. Okay, so your spirit self has been heightened. You are open to communication. You praying. You have to be directing all your prayers and all your talking and everything to Sonin. It must be so clear. Don't be vague. Don't be say Father. Don't be. I know your father will know that you're talking to him, but you have to say his name as well. Okay, because the devil might say, nah, he said God one day, one day, well, how do you know he's talking to you? This guy, he was doing this on Sunday, and he, he might claim that your prayers are coming to him. That means the devil now, and they might steal some of your prayers. So if you just be explicit, show that you're calling on Sonny Nanini, and then there's no doubt about who are you trying to direct you, you're seeking help from. Okay, and you must call on Sonny with 100% faith. So that means you must not supplement him with rehab or medicine or anything. Just fully call on him without having anything as plan B. Okay, pray fast, call on him. That's all it takes. And within days, a few days, because it depends on, depending on how faithful or how strong your faith is. So then it can take one day. One day. I know people would take one day. And they stop, quit, boom. One day, a, a bad habit. You ain't got to be smoking. Just one bad habit. They work out. What, what was going on? One day. Okay. So it depends on how strong your faith is. How, how strong your spirit man is. For now, the strength of your faith and spirit man will determine your power over the flesh. And then, because you, your spirit man is automatically more powerful than the, the evil spirits. But now you keep oppressing it with the uh, scheme of darkness, the flesh. Then, you know, it, 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 the flesh just oh, keep overpowering it. But the power of the spirit is way more than the flesh, the physical. Okay, so you have to elevate that to those two um, steps. Okay. All right. So you all understand now what you're supposed to do. Simple two steps. Okay, bye.